Good evening, everyone. We welcome you inside Prather Coliseum, where tonight the Northwestern State Demons back at home to take on Abilene Christian. The Wildcats come in fourth in the Southland Conference at 7-3. and three. Meanwhile, the Demons are in the middle of a big pack of teams trying to secure their spot in the Southland Conference Tournament. Demons are 5-6 and six in conference play. Demons have dropped their last three at home. The one last in excruciating fashion against Central Arkansas. The Demons had a big lead at halftime, saw that lead vanish. They took the lead again in the second half and unfortunately were unable to close. And, and uh, UCA was able to escape out of here with a big win on the road, their first road win of the season. Meanwhile, this Abilene Christian team comes in, uh, kind of an interesting squad. They lost a lot off of last year's team. They were maybe anticipated to kind of be middle of the road, and they've been able to scrap their way to a 7-3 and three record. They do it by forcing turnovers. They turn those turnovers into points. They play very good lockdown defense. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Meanwhile, the Demons are statistically statistically the best defense in the Southland Conference in terms of shooting percentage. They hold opponents to under 40% from the field, which is just amazing. Uh, names to watch out for for Abilene Christian. Peyton Ricks is the main guy. He is a three-point threat from anywhere on the floor. Don't be surprised if you see him pull it. He's got a hair trigger and a quick release. Don't be surprised if he chunks up a lot of threes in this one. He's, th he's shot over 100 threes more than anyone else on this ACU squad. Meanwhile, for the Demons, another opportunity to see if they can grow. A team with eight newcomers that has no seniors in its rotation. Five of their top six guys are all newcomers. They continue to try to learn how to win games, understand how to win, uh, play with a big lead, play from behind, play close games, all of those things. Demons are having to learn those lessons. We'll see if NSU can find a way to keep the turnovers to a minimum. That's something they struggle with and something that ACU excels at. And can they continue to play great field goal percentage defense? If so, a good opportunity for the Demons to come away with a win over the fourth place team right now in the Southland Conference. Northwestern State, Abilene Christian coming your way in just a couple of minutes. Starting lineups and tip next, you're watching NSU TV. time we ask that you please rise for tonight's invocation given by Kevin Landry and remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem by the spirit of Northwestern Purple Haze Pit Band. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for allowing everyone to get here safe tonight, Lord. I ask that you watch, watch over these student athletes tonight, Lord, and help them play in a way that brings honor to your name, Lord. I ask that you keep them safe from injury, Lord. Uh, watch over the fans as they travel back home tonight. And uh, just remember that to glorify you in all that we think, do, and say. We know we serve a mighty God. And we love you and praise you. And thank you for loving us. We actually sing in Jesus' name. Amen.
to Baker Coliseum on the beautiful campus of the Northwestern State University. And now let's get ready for tonight's game by meeting our starting lineups. Brought to you by Hancock Whitney. And beginning with Abilene Christian. At guard, a six-foot junior from Houston, Texas. Number one, Reggie Miller. At guard, a 6'2", senior from Wichita, Kansas. Number five, Peyton Ricks. At guard, a six-foot junior from Oklahoma City. Number 20, Corian Mason. At forward, a six-foot sophomore from Overland Park, Kansas. Number 32, Joe Frazon. At center, a seven-foot junior from San Angelo, Texas. Number 34, Colton Cole. Interim head coach for the Wildcats is Joe Golding, assisted by Brett Tanner, Ted Krass, and Antonio Bostic. And now fans, it's time for tonight's Northwestern State Batters. At guard, a five-ten junior from Monroe, Louisiana, Zero C J Jones. That's forward, a 6'6 junior from Denver, Colorado. Number four, Junior Dial. At guard, a 6'4 freshman from Papua, Israel. Number 15, Yohan Zamba. At guard, a 6'2 sophomore from Buffalo, Iowa. Number 30, Junior to go. ACU in the road, purple on purples. With uh, numbers on the back, white trimmed in gray, wildcats on the front, and a number on the front as well in white. Meanwhile, the demons are in white on white. Northwestern State, purple trimmed in orange on the uh, front, number purple trimmed in orange on the back. So, Colton Cole, the big seven footer, will jump center against Nikos Hugas at 6'10". Although Hugas looks to be about three inches shorter than the seven foot Cole. So they are ready to go. James Durham will tip it up and it can controlled by the Wildcats. Corian Mason back into the hands of Reggie Miller. So Reggie Miller will control the action, gives it left side. Rick tries to throw it inside, it's batted away. But uh, picked back up by the Wildcats in the corner by Corian Mason. Mason up top, Miller, back right wing, Peyton Ricks. Ricks is going to drive right baseline. Gets cut off, throws it in the left corner, back to the left wing, six to shoot. Pleasant's going to drive the right side. He's going to be called for a charge right on the first possession. Chudy A. Bile got ahead of him, and Bile drew the charge. So the Wildcats turned it over on their first possession. This is a game where turnovers could be a major factor. ACU coming in, forcing nearly 21 turnovers a game. That's second in the nation behind Stephen F. Austin. So both the top two turnover forcing teams in the uh, nation both belong in the Southland Conference. C.J. Jones gets it to Chudier Bile on the right wing against the seven footer. Back up top to Nikos Hugas, 11 to shoot. Hugas against Pleasant, drives down the right side, flips it out in the corner. Bile sets, fires a three, good. Chudier Bile, great assist from Nikos Hugas. Bile coming off of a five for six from downtown performance. They lob the ball inside, big seven footer. Colton Cole gets it and puts it up and in. Three to two, the lead for the Demons. C.J. Jones brings it quickly into the front court, guarded by Reggie Miller. Jones on the dribble. 
Wants to go up top to Trenton Master. He's being guarded closely by Peyton Ricks. Gives it instead to Zellin Baba right wing. Zellin Baba drives right baseline. Cut off, back to Jones, top of the key bile. Thought about the three, now penetrates from there against the seven footer and he traveled with it. Well, that's the one big uh, bugaboo for Chudier Bile is he does turn it over a lot. 84 turnovers in 20 games for Chudier Bile. So nearly five turnovers a game. He's also the leading scorer and the leading rebounder for this Northwestern State team. So you kind of have to take the good with the bad there. They go down low to the big fella. The seven-footer just turns around. Point blank misses it. Rebound to Bile. Bile will look to bring it up himself. Brings it to the top of the key. Crossover dribble. Takes it down the lane. Flips it right corner. Back to Jones. Top of the key, Hugas. Hugas goes behind the back. Ball is loose. Ball loose on the floor. And it will finally be picked up by Peyton Ricks. Demons turned it over for the second possession in a row. Drive on the right wing by Miller. Ball knocked away and out of bounds off of C.J. Jones. Three to two Demons. Demons have turned it over on their last two possessions. Again, this Abilene Christian team, highest turnover percentage defensively in the Southland. They force turnovers on nearly 30% of their defensive possessions. We mentioned they're second in the nation in turnovers forced behind Stephen F. Austin, who's number one. So the one and two turnover forcing teams in the country, both are in the Southland Conference. Pleasant's gonna fire a three from the top, back iron no good. Long rebound, Zellin Baba, he wants to run. Zellin Baba down the right side, takes it in, flips it back out to Jones. Jones penetrates, skips it in the left corner and throws it out of bounds. Three consecutive turnovers by the Demons. After Chudier Bile knocked down a triple, Demons have turned it over on three straight possessions. Three to two, the lead for NSU. Demons have attempted just one shot so far and have three turnovers. Ball on the left wing, drive by Mason. Reverse layup off the glass and no good. Tip up is no good. Rebound again to Mason. That ball stripped. Pit, it's picked up finally. Skipped around to the left side into the lane. Goes Pleasant and Pleasant lays it up and in. Four to three, the lead for Abilene Christian. As Chudier Bile has it out deep. Dribbles at the top, flips it left corner. Zellin Bobble will drive from there, skips it right corner. Masner for three, back iron no good. Chudier Bile tips the rebound to himself. Flips it back to Zellin Bobble. He'll take a three from the left wing, and he is fouled hey, hey. by Corian Mason. So that'll be three shots for Jovan Zellin Bobble as he was uh, had the body contact by Corian Mason closing out on him. Zellin Baba, who battled a, a bit of an ankle injury through the last few games. First free throw is good. Very high arcing free throw shooter is Jovan Zellin Baba. Ties us up at four apiece. So the Demons had turned it over on three possessions in a row. But uh, coming back with three free throws for Zellin Baba, he makes the first two. Mass substitutions for ACU as uh, they will bring in Trey Lennox, 6'3", 220, senior from Hot Springs High School, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Arion Simmons, 6'5", 264, freshman from Little Rock, Arkansas, Parkview Magnet High School. Clay Gaiman, uh, 6'6", 220, a sophomore from Nevada, Missouri, out of Nevada High School. All into the ball game along with Damian Daniels. Daniels, 5'7", 140. He's a sophomore from Kansas City, Missouri, out of Hogan Prep. So Zellin Baba makes all three free throws. Demons lead 6-4. Peyton Ricks guarded by Masner out deep. Good defense by Masner. Throws it back out long to Arion Simmons, over to Damian Daniels. Daniels back up top to Ricks. Ricks will give it back to Daniels. He'll fire a three from the right wing and buries it. Damian Daniels knocks down the triple, makes it 7-6 Abilene. Quickly back the other way, Trenton Masner. Masner crosses over, works the baseline, skips it left wing. Zellin Bobble will penetrate from there and tried to throw it back to Chudier Bile on the baseline. Bile was drifting back. Zellin Baba thought he was going to be cutting down the baseline, and so the Demons turned it over for the fourth time in the first three minutes and 35 seconds of this first half. Demons trail 7-6, 16-19 left to go in the first half of play. Ricks runs into his own screener on the left wing. Now, loops it inside, baseline, Arion Simmons faces, goes to the top, three on the way from there. That one is back iron, no good, long rebound. Master comes away with it. Master looks to push, feeds to Hugos, and it turns it over. Back the other way come the Wildcats, over to the left side, drive from there, shot up is high off glass and good after a few bounces for Damian Daniels. Makes it 9-6 in favor of Abilene. C.J. Jones on the right wing. 
Dribbling, gives up top to Zellin Baba. Flips it underneath to Chudie Bile. Bile in traffic, up with it, no call, no, no shot, uh, shot doesn't go. Rebound to the Wildcats, into the right wing. Ricks gives it back to Daniels, back to Ricks. He'll turn and fire a three, that misses badly. Rebound to Trenton Master. Master has numbers if he hurries, gets it ahead to Hugas. Hugas to the cutting, Chudie Bile. Bile up and through, he hits the bucket, and oh, they're gonna say on the floor? That bucket has to count. There's no way that bucket can't count. So the foul called on Clay Gaiman is his first. That, uh, he was on his way up. Anyway, we got a timeout on the uh, floor. Nine to six, Abilene Christian with the lead. We'll take a timeout, come back with more after this on the Demon Sports Network. Northwestern State University offers you the flexibility to take classes and complete coursework on your own schedule. With support from a network of caring faculty, staff, and fellow students, NSU is now offering a flat rate tuition exclusively for online learners. Northwestern State University is nationally recognized for quality, affordability, and student support. To explore our online degree programs and register for classes, visit nsula.edu slash ensu. I love NSU because it's given me a family of people who challenge me to try new things and encourage me to be a better person. Come see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Forkham Demons. Northwestern State down nine to six. Demons have attempted just three shots in this game. ACU has already attempted 10, mostly due to the fact that the Demons have turned it over five times in the first four minutes and 37 seconds. Every player in the starting five has one turnover so far in the first nearly five minutes. New players in for the Demons, Brian White, 5'6", 160, sophomore from Natchitoches, Natchitoches Central. Also into the ball game for the first time for the Demons is Jairus Roberson. Roberson, 6'2", 175, junior transfer from Dallas, Texas. As Chudier Bile goes up, misses it, and then we're gonna get a foul on the shot against Tobias Cameron. So that will be two shots for Nikos Hugas. Jairus Roberson, 6'2", 175, the junior transfer from Dallas, Texas, to Soto High School, Trinity Valley Community College. So, Bile missed a close one, and then Hugas tipped the rebound and was fouled on the tip. So, uh, he goes to the line to shoot two. First one is short. After Jovan Zelenbaba hit three free throws, Demons down nine to six. Brian White, Nikos Hugas, Chudier Bile, Trenton Master, and Jairus Roberson on the floor. Going to have probably a lot of uh, four guard alignments for the Demons in this ball game as Hugas misses both of them. Pretty unusual for him. He's a good free throw shooter, 76%. Screen and roll. Demons almost get the turnover. They flip it inside, and that shot is blocked. Offensive rebound. Roberson got the block. They skip it back out to Daniels on the right wing. Daniels looking inside, lobs it over to the right side. Now skip it back up top. Three on the way from there is in and out, no good. Rebound to Chudier Bile. Bile looks to run. Bile takes it down the middle. He'll step through. Big bump, bump no call. Rebound pulled down by a ACU. Boy, Chudier Bile's gotten hit several times on shot attempts and has gotten no calls. Ball at the top again. Lennox will drive, flip it, flip it back out. Top of the key, Gaiman. Back right wing to Damian Daniels. Back up top, now down the left side, goes Trey Lennox back to the basket, back out to Daniels. He'll fire a three. That one's in and out, no good. Hugas clears the rebound himself, fighting for it. Hugas spins speeds into the front court. Hugas down the right side, high off glass and no good, but he's fouled. And Nikos Hugas will go to the line to shoot two. Damian Daniels picks up his first personal, so Hugas just missed his last two. Demons are just one of six from the field to start this uh, first half. UCA, uh, ACU rather, excuse me, not doing a ton better. They are four of 13. As Hugas misses his third free throw in a row. Again, very unusual for Nikos. He is a 76% free throw shooter. As um, officiating crew, James Durham, Gerald Williams, and Joe Wilbert III. Hugas gets... 
that one to fall. His first point of the ball game makes it 9-7. Jamari Gregg checks back in. Godor Queth in for the first time. Godor Queth, 6'6", 205, junior transfer from Des Moines, Iowa. Roosevelt High School and Southwestern Community College. Demons trail 9-7 with 14-14 left to go in the first half of play. Pretty fast pace to start. It has slowed down considerably. Ball on the right wing, Tobias Cameron out of Queensland, Australia, works it inside. Step through is up and good for Clay Gaiman. 11-7 the lead for Abilene, their biggest lead of the ballgame. Brian White speeds into the front court, skips it left corner. Three on the way by Masner is blocked. He gets his own rebound, takes it back up, and lays it in. Trenton Masner. Good hustle by him. After his three got blocked, he hustled in. Brian White tipped the rebound. Masner came up with it. Ball at the top. Daniels will fire a left-handed three. Front iron no good. Bottom bodies around the rebound. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession will go to the Demons. As Gador Queth was in there tying up Tobias Cameron, 6'5", 210, sophomore from Queensland, Australia, out of Hillcrest. Demons trail 11 to 9. Good news is NSU hasn't turned it over in a couple of minutes after having five turnovers to start this game. They are still, though, just two of eight from the field, but they forced UCA, uh, ACU rather, excuse me, to be five of 15. Jairus Roberson loops it down low. Jamari Gregg turns to face on the left baseline. Back to the basket, works his way in, spins baseline left, off glass and good. Great patience by Jamari Gregg. Got the matchup he wanted, patient, worked it down then was able to uh, spin towards the baseline to his left and put it up off glass and good. 13 minutes left to go. Gaiman has it. Daniels will drive the left side, lay it up and in. Daniels has seven, makes it 13-11. Abilene Christian back the other way. Brian White into the corner for Masner. Masner drives left baseline, pulls it back out, lobs it out to Brian White. 19 to shoot, 12-43 left. Demons down by two. Brian White. To Gador Queth. Queth will drive the left side, flips it back to White into the right corner. Roberson for three. It's long. Rebound pulled down underneath by Tobias Cameron. They're going to skip it over to Daniels up the right side. Daniels looking to get down low to Gaiman. Play Gaiman back to the basket. Spins. Ball is stripped, but a foul is going to be called on Jamari Gregg. Greg will pick up his first personal. And we'll have uh, five fresh bodies set to sub in for Abilene Christian. So Joe Golding doing what Mike McConathy normally would do is uh, sub in five in and five out. Demons have not done that this year. They have not been a platoon substitute team. First free throw is good for Clay Gaiman. He's got three. Makes it 14-11 in favor of ACU. Wildcats are 6 of 16 from the field. For 37%, Demons are 3 of 10 from the field. For 30%. Demons haven't had a turnover in about four minutes or so. Gaiman's second free throw is good. Sophomore from Nevada, Missouri. Gives ACU back a four-point lead. So five fresh bodies in for the Wildcats as they now go with uh, Reggie Miller, Colton Cole, Peyton Ricks, Corian Mason, and Joe Pleasant. So they basically just brought the, the starting five back in. Jairus Roberson, Jovan Zellenbaba left wing. Zellenbaba, top of the key to Jamari Gregg. He'll step into a right elbow jumper, misses it right side. Rebound pulled down by ACU. Reggie Miller into the front court, looks for the high screen and roll, gets it, flips it back to Pleasant on the left wing, looking inside, can't get it there. Now skips it up top, around to the right wing. Miller steps into a left-handed three, no good. And that should be way over the back on Peyton Rigg, uh, excuse me, on Colton Cole. Instead, it's out of bounds off of ACU. Jamari Gregg had boxed out Colton Cole, the seven-footer, very well. But uh, no over the back call, just out of bounds. Demons will have the basketball when we return. 11.50 left to go in the first half. It's 15-11 ACU. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. For the oldest permanent site of higher education in Louisiana. For market responsive programs meeting the needs of our community. For a spirit of Northwestern on a Saturday in Turpin Stadium for the largest baccalaureate nursing program in the state. For a winter stroll along Front Street, where it's Christmas all year. For flexible schedules that consider where you've been and where you want to go. For perfect pitch and pitchforks. For 39 opportunities to learn your own time 
anywhere in the world. For the colors of life, especially purple, Forkham Demons. Northwestern State University and the Universities of Louisiana. For your future. For our future. Eleven fifty left to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State down by four. We'll have the basketball when we get back to action. Uh, Demons not being able to have any effectiveness inside. Just four points in the paint. The one really nice one was Jamari Gregg on the uh, back to the basket, patient work, and then turned around and put it in off glass. Uh, meanwhile, you had a nice drive as well. Uh, by Trenton Massner off of an offensive rebound. Demons are out rebounding the Wildcats 11 to nine. NSU just one assist to five turnovers. Demons are shooting 27% from the field, three of 11. ACU is six of 17 for 35%. The teams have combined to go two of 11 from beyond the arc. Brian White flips it to back cut to Zellen Baba, flips it inside to Godor Queth, back to Zellen Baba. Left baseline drive into traffic. Skips it all the way back out. Now top of the key, Jamari Gregg. Gregg drives against the seven-footer off glass and good, and the foul. Great drive by Jamari Gregg. Count the basket and the foul on Corian Mason, which is his second. So Jamari Gregg drove right past the seven-footer, Colton Cole. Got the layup. Corian uh, uh, Mason was inside the restricted area, and Jamari Gregg is, uh, I think he just maybe got the wind knocked out of him. It's what it looks like. So uh, because it's an injury, I think maybe just got the wind knocked out of him. That's what it looks like. He, you can see he's gasping for breath. And if you've ever had the wind knock, you've ever, uh, you ever had the wind knocked out of you, it is absolutely uh, one of the most, one of the scariest propositions you could have. Well, now, ACU gets to choose who shoots the free throw. So Godor Queth is going to be the guy that shoots the free throw. He is a 67% free throw shooter. Jamari Gregg is just a 50% free throw shooter. Chudier Bile will check back in for Jamari Gregg. You can see he's just trying to catch his breath. He definitely hit, uh, kind of hit that left, uh, sort of the right rib cage area. You can see they're working that out as uh, Godor Queth will complete the three-point play for Jamari Gregg. Make it 15-14 in favor of ACU with 11.20 left to go in the first half of play. Ball at the top, Pleasant. He'll drive the right side, cut off, goes inside to the left, goes up off glass and good, and he draws the foul on Godor Queth, I believe, or is it Chudier Bile? Fouls on Bile. So Joe Pleasant just probing the middle trying to answer back with a three-point play of his own. With 11-16 left to go in the first half, Demons trail 17-14, and as you shooting just 33% from the field. ACU shooting 39%. Pleasant completes the three-point play. He's got five, makes it 18-14. Demons lob it ahead. Bile comes up with it, takes it up the right side against the seven-footer and lays it up and in right over his outstretched arm. 18-16, the lead for ACU. Chudier Bile now with five in the ballgame. Reggie Miller, the point guard, dribbles out. Top of the key to the seven-footer, Cole. Leads it right wing to Daniels, trying to go inside. Can't, now to Miller at the top. He'll work to the left side. Back up top to Pleasant, looking to go high-low. Said he'll drive the left side, cut off. Back to Miller. Miller to the left elbow, steps through. Left on baseline, 17-footer from there is short. Brian White with the offside rebound off the miss from Pleasant. Brian White speeds all the way inside. He is fouled, and ooh, looked like he might have turned his ankle there. As uh, he hits the deck, he landed very awkwardly on that left leg as he was driving through and was fouled. Foul called on Damian Daniels is his second. Brian White looks like he is uh, going to get up and stretch out a little bit. I couldn't tell if maybe it was just a little bit of a roll of the ankle. Brian White has had his fair share of injuries already in his young career. Played just 11 games last year due to a, a couple of different foot injuries. And uh, Mike McConaughey telling Brian White, if you're not okay, let us know so uh, we can get you out. I think he wants to shoot his free throws here. So uh, left, looked like a left knee or calf injury of some kind. He landed sort of awkwardly as he was stepping through down the lane, but a nice job pushing the tempo by Brian White, who makes the first free throw. 
cuts the lead to 18-17. Demons have already taken more free throws now with 10.36 left than they did the whole game against Central Arkansas on Saturday. Demons had nine free throw attempts on Saturday against 31 for, for UCA. They have now 10 free throw attempts in this one. So they are going to get Brian White out to get his um, get his leg looked at. And just kind of walk through, step through awkwardly. So ball at Colton Cole. By the way, White did make his second free throw, made it 18 apiece. Looking inside, they get it to Pleasant, right baseline. Pleasant drives with the left hand, back to the basket, spins to the middle, goes up wild with the left hand, no good. Rebound tipped out to Zell and Baba. He'll lob it ahead and turn it over. To the left side, Trey Lennox. Lennox flips it back to Reggie Miller. Miller to Pleasant at the top. Pleasant jab step, now will take the three. Front iron, no good. Rebound tipped, will go out of bounds off of Nikos Hugas who he and the seven-footer, Colton Cole, were, uh, were engaged inside. Well, the Demons back to 38% from the field. ACU down to 33%. They've hit just one of their last three. Ball at the top for Pleasant. Looks it around left wing. They lob it inside to the seven-footer. Goes to work, and that one is good. Just too close to the basket for Colton Cole to make that grab. He just had to turn it and flip it right over the rim. Not really worried about the shot block in that situation. Drive left side by C.J. Jones. Spins around. Now flips it to Hugas. Top of the key three from him. Back iron no good. Rebound pulled down by Abilene Christian. Nine and a half left. They lob it inside to the seven-footer. Shot blocked by Chudier Bile. Rebound to C.J. Jones. Jones flips it to Roberson right wing. Into the corner. Zellin Baba for three. Front iron no good. Rebound pulled down by... Abilene Christian. Boy, good look for Zell and Baba off a nice extra pass by Jairus Roberson. But Zell and Baba just couldn't quite get it to fall. Ball on the left wing, Pleasant. Top of the key to the seven-footer, Cole. Right wing, Trey Lennox. Lennox back up top. Ricks is going to turn and fire a three and air balls it. Terrific defense by Jairus Roberson. Went right, split through the, uh, the double team screen at the free throw line, split them, and got right in Peyton Ricks' face. Tied 20-18, uh, to 18, the lead for ACU with 8.49 left to go. Zellin Baba into the right corner for C.J. Jones. Jones works off a screen, takes it inside, right elbow jumper, buries it. C.J. Jones ties us back up at 20 apiece. Quickly back the other way, Lennox up the right side, layup is missed. Rebound saved by Zellin Baba into Hugas. Hugas is going to bring it up himself. He's going to work to the top of the key. Picked up his dribble. Now skips it over left wing to Zellenbaba. Zellenbaba taking the seven-footer. Skips it in the corner to Bile. Back out to Roberson. Top of the key, Hugas. Left wing, C.J. Jones. Pulls up. Shot blocked on the left baseline. Ball is picked up underneath by the seven-footer. who Turns it over. Oh, Lennox wasn't looking. It rolled off his back, but he was able to get back on it. Ricks at the top, guarded by Zell and Baba. He'll drive in from there, flip it underneath. Pleasant, ball stripped. Here comes Chudier Bile out with it. Bile up the right side. Bile works to the right wing, stops and fires a high arcing. Three goes all the way down and comes out. Game tied at 20 with 7.50 left to go. These two teams are now two for 16 from beyond the arc. One of ten for the Wildcats, one of five for the Demons. Ricks has a good look at a three from the top, and he buries it. Can't give him space. He will definitely knock that one down. 23-20. Chudie Bile at the top, working against the seven-footer. Drives in, takes it with the left hand. No good. Hugas clears the rebound. Hugas underneath, being pushed, gives to Bile. Bile double team, throws it back out to Jones. Jones will penetrate the right side. Off glass and good. C.J. Jones. 23-22 with 7.14 left to go in the first half of play. Pace of play picked up a little bit here in the last couple minutes. The big seven-footer throws an air ball up. Rebound saved to Hugas by Chudier Bile. Hugas lobs it ahead to Roberson. Right corner, he'll fire a three. Good! Great early offense. Hugas finding Roberson ahead to fire the three. Demons take a two-point lead. 25-23 with 6.57 left to go in the first half of play. We'll take a full break, full timeout, and come back after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. Behind every challenge lies the seed of success. Behind every ounce of fear lies courage. 
Any big change can feel daunting, intimidating, but what is the alternative? You are not alone on your path to college life. With the right people by your side, you'll make lifelong friendships while you explore a new world of learning opportunities. Every time you pull an all-nighter, you'll learn. With every success, you'll stand taller. Every time you initiate, participate, you'll expand your horizons. You can maximize your potential, achieve great things. It's all a journey to prepare for your career, for life, becoming not only a dreamer, but a doer. No matter what happens, never lose sight of the finish line. Northwestern State University, dedicated to one goal, yours. Six fifty-seven left to go. Uh, Jairus Roberson is going to be taken back to the locker room. Excuse me, not Jairus Roberson. Jamari Gregg heading back to the locker room with head athletic trainer uh, Jason Drury, uh, who is not the basketball trainer. He's the football trainer, but he is going to um, allow the basketball trainer to stay out, and so he is going to take Jamari Gregg back to the back. I think Gregg may be just going to shoot some shots. I'm not sure, but he's back um, behind the bleachers and heading back towards the locker room or perhaps just shooting some shots just to see how he feels. Demons lead 25-23 with 6.50 left to go in the first half of play. They work the ball underneath. Arion Simmons back to the basket against Hugos. Puts it up off glass and good. Simmons first points of the ball game. Ties us up at 25 apiece. C.J. Jones, Nico Hugos, Judy A. Bile, Trenton Massner, and Jairus Roberson. Jones hands off to Roberson. Roberson dribbles out long to Massner right wing. Masner lobs it back over to Roberson. Tough catch against Ricks. He's going to take, take that three. Buries a Jairus Roberson two in a row. And the Demons lead 28-25. And Jamari Gregg running back into the front uh, towards the Demon bench here. They get the ball up top. Tobias Cameron, they flip it down low. Arion Simmons takes the 12-footer. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Chudie Bile. Bile looking to turn and run. Bile to the middle of the field. The middle of the court, rather, excuse me. Gives to C.J. Jones. Back to Bile at the top. Bile drives through the right side, and he's fouled. That'll be one and one free throws. Foul called on Arion Simmons, his first, and so Chudie Bile will go to the line to shoot one and one. Demons have just now crawled over. 40% uh, shooting. They have hit three of their last four from the field, including a pair of threes from Jairus Roberson. Uh, Demons now shooting 40, just under 41% from the field. They are 9 of 22. Chudie Bile misses the front end of the 1-1. One one. Demons now 7 of 11 from the free throw line for just under 70%. Ball in the front court, ACU. Screen for Reggie Miller. Flips it in the left corner. Arion Simmons dribbles out, gives to Ricks. He'll fire the three from there and buries it. Peyton Ricks and Jairus Roberson back to back, uh, going back to back with threes there. And they're guarding each other too. CJ Jones into the front court, hands off to Roberson. Roberson spins, takes it all the way in, floats it with the right hand, good. And he's called for a charge. Foul on Jairus Roberson is his first. Mike McConaughey just shaking his head over on the bench. Five twenty-five left to go. We're tied at 28. Demons turned it over for the seventh time. They've only had two turnovers in about the last 11 minutes after they started with five turnovers in the first four minutes. Daniels on the left wing. Gives it up top. Simmons. Back cut to Ricks. Ricks goes up with a wild shot. It's no good. And, boy, the official bailed him out on that one. He just threw one up wildly, and Jairus Roberson is called for his second foul. That will send Peyton Ricks to the free throw line. Both Ricks and Roberson, the two three-point specialists in this game, have each one of them have hit two threes. First free throw, rattles, pops back out, and goes back in for Ricks. Makes it 29-28 in favor of Abilene Christian. Second free throw is good, makes it 30-28. Ricks has eight. Wildcats with a two-point lead. A little token full-court pressure here for ACU. C.J. Jones will work it up against Damian Daniels. Jones deep on the left wing, hands off to Trenton Master. Master dribbling against Tobias Cameron. Out deep, Jairus Roberson crosses over. He works inside, free throw line jumper. Back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by ACU. 4.46 left to go in the first half. Demons trail 30 to 28. 
Ball on the right wing. That's Arion Simmons looking for somewhere to go. Hands it off to Ricks. Ricks turns and fires a three. Front iron no good. Hugas clears the rebound for the Demons. Hugas will bring it up. Up the left-hand side. He'll work to the free throw line. Almost has it stripped. Then loses it. Ball loose. And that's going to be a jump ball, I guess. Officials let that go for a long time when it seemed pretty obvious it was a jump ball. The possession will go back to ACU as the Demons have turned it over. That is Hugas's second turnover of the ball game. Zellen Baba has two. A lot of folks with one. Jovan Zellen Baba will check in for Hugas as Jamari Gregg back into the ball game replacing Jairus Roberson. So the eighth turnover of the first half for NSU, three so far for Abilene Christian. Again, the Demons are not a turnover forcing team. Ball worked inside, shot blocked by Judy A. Bile on Hayden Howell. 6'7", 225, the senior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, Carl Albert High School. Looked like he was being electrocuted while he was going. He was all arms and legs and elbows and a lot of energy underneath. And ultimately got his shot blocked by Bile. Ball handed off, Daniels to the free throw line. Jumper from there is back iron, no good. Gets his own rebound long. Will dribble it all the way back out. C.J. Jones has him, they'll lob it inside. Double team there, spin up. Right-handed scoop is good for Hayden Howell. Makes it 32-28, back to a four-point lead for Abilene Christian. Matches their largest lead of the ball game. Jamari Gregg picked up his dribble, now saved by Trenton Master out deep on the right side. Master out to C.J. Jones. Jones spins to the free throw line. Jumper there. Good. C.J. Jones having a nice offensive first half. He's got six. Makes it 32-30 with three and a half left to go. On the right side, Daniels. Flips it up top to Ricks. Off the screen, Zellen Baba. Nice recovery on Ricks. Rick spins with the left hand, little push off, spins to the left side, off glass and no good. Rebound tipped all the way out, almost out of bounds, picked up by Daniels. Daniels will drive the left side, has stripped. Ball goes out of bounds off of C.J. Jones, and we'll have her under four media timeout. Two-point game, 32-30, ACU with the lead with 3.09 left to go in the first half of play. We'll take a timeout, come back with more after this on the Demon Sports Network. to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State trailing by two, 32-30. The Demons will be on defense with a 15-second uh, shot clock for Abilene Christian. Despite the fact that the Wildcats are only shooting 34% from the field, they are leading this game, mostly due to the fact that Northwestern State has attempted 11 fewer shots. Abilene Christian actually has two more field goals made than the Demons despite the fact that they're shooting 34% and Northwestern State is uh, shooting 42%. Abilene Christian shooting 34%, but the Wildcats have a, are 12 of 35. The Demons are 10 of 24, so 11 more shot attempts for Abilene, mostly due to the eight turnovers. Well, there's one for ACU as Peyton Rick stepped on the sideline. So the Demons will get it back. Into the front court, Brian White now in at point guard. C.J. Jones had a nice offensive day, though. White drives the right side to Chudier Bile. Bile drives in, throws it up off glass, and it will not fall. Tip up by Bile, no good. Rebound fought for, now on the floor, and that's going to be another jump ball. And possession will stay with Northwestern State. Or did they call the timeout for Abilene Christian? 
Well, apparently ACU got the timeout before the jump ball was called. And Mike McConaughey just uh, hands on hips. Can't believe it. Mike McConaughey in the ear of James Durham as uh, we will keep it here. Northwestern State, by the way, a uh, lot of stuff going on coming up this weekend. The uh, Demons and Lady Demons both on the road at Houston Baptist. That will be a very rare uh, 2 o'clock, 7 o'clock doubleheader. You go to Houston Baptist, the Lady Demons play at 2, the Demons play at 7. At uh, HBU, 2 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Can't really call it a double header, but a uh, 2 o'clock, 7 o'clock uh, day night double header like in baseball. Yeah. Credit to Mike Doty for that one, facilities manager for the Demons. They lob the ball inside, and Jamari Gregg just takes it away, but an offensive foul is called on Hayden Howell underneath as he pushed Jamari Gregg off. So the Demons get the ball right back off of the uh, timeout call. Demons show 32 30. So, uh, Saturday, Demons and Lady Demons are in Houston. Lady Demons softball is also in Houston, playing at the University of Houston in a tournament down there. Their first game is Saturday at 9 a.m. Brian White to Trenton Master at the top. Master dribbles out to the left wing, gives to Chudier Bile. Bile, jab steps, works with the right hand, steps back. Deep two for him is perfect. Chudier Bile's got seven. We're tied at 32 again with 2.07 left to go in the first half of play. Reggie Miller dribbles to the right wing, gives it up top to Peyton Ricks, left side, Corian Mason. Mason back out deep, drived up the left side, ball stripped and out of bounds off of the Demons as Chudier Biles stripped Clay Gaiman as he went down the left side. So with a minute 53 left to go, ACU inbounds with 15 to shoot. They lob it to the left elbow. Howell gives it right wing. Now flips it out left side to Miller. Miller back up top. That's Gaiman. Seven to shoot. Gaiman jab steps. Gives to Ricks. Four to shoot. Back up top. Miller will fire a deep three. Hits the right side of the rim and is rebounded by ACU in the corner. Back to Ricks for three. That's long. Rebound Chudier Bile. Bile looks to run up the right side. Bile double team. Flips it back out. Brian White. Shimari Gregg. Greg to the left elbow, lose it, gets it back, flips it out deep to White. 19 to shoot, a minute 22 left. We're tied at 32. White gives it up top to Bile. Bile inside to Greg, mid post left side, goes back to the basket, puts it up and good. Great look by Jamari Greg. Back to the basket. Demons have scored six in a row and they retake the lead 34 32. Ball right side. Mason drives, floats it, no good, but a foul's going to be called. Foul called on Chudy A. Bile will be his second. Chudy was about to, I think, be, be uh, pulled out of the game anyway for the last 101. So Corian Mason will go to the line to uh, shoot two here with a minute one left to go. Demons leading 34-32. Neither side has led by more than four here in the first half. That first free throw went all the way down and came out. That's the first miss of a free throw by Abilene Christian. These are two of the better free throw shooting teams in the Southland. ACU 74%, that's fourth best in the league. Demons 73%, that's fifth best in the league. Second free throw is good for Corian Mason. He will cut the lead to one at 34-33. A minute one left to go. Gador Queth came in for Chudy A. Bile, and Trey Lennox came in for ACU. Brian White into the front court, guarded by Reggie Miller. Demons running some cross screens at the free throw line. They get it to Massner. Back to Brian White. White lobs it to really no one. Ball's knocked out of bounds by Peyton Ricks on the help side defense. White, if he had put a little bit less on that, Queth probably catches it and turns and dunks it. But he put too much on it, and Ricks was able to uh, come in and Knock it away, 14 to shoot. A lot of bumping and grinding. They get it into Godor Quet, gives it back to Brian White, 10 to shoot. White's gonna pull it back out, high screen and roll. White works with the left hand, flips it in the corner. Zellin Baba drives the left side into traffic, puts it up over the rim and good. Jovan Zellin Baba gives the Demons a 36-33 lead. 
About a one second differential between shot clock and game clock. It looks like ACU is going to hold for one shot here. They get it to Peyton Ricks. Now to Pleasant. Hand off to Lennox. Just some weave action here. Lewis has it. Miller, Miller rather, excuse me, has it. Works to the left wing. Drives the right side. Flips it back over. Ball stripped. Here comes Trenton Master with eight seconds. Master takes it all the way down the lane. Scoop with the left hand good with four seconds left. And then a foul is going to be called, but it's not free throws. Yovan Zell and Baba fouls, but it's not free throws. So Demons have taken their biggest lead of the game, 38-33. They're on a 10-1 run to close the half as Nico Sugas is going to come in to replace Brian White for defensive purposes with 1.3 seconds remaining. Demons are going to uh, pressure full court. Zellin Baba gives it. Ricks ends up with it. He fires it from half court, and it's no good. Zellin Baba tipped it, but uh, Ricks ended up with it and was able to fire it from half court. Well, the Demons in the half on a 10-1 to run, and they take a five-point lead into halftime, doing a nice job on the break. NSU, which uh, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn for the most part, ended up hitting five of their last six and shooting 48% at halftime. So a, a pretty impressive close to the first half for the Northwestern State Demons, who go on a 10-1 run over the last three minutes and 57 seconds and uh, find themselves up five at halftime, 38-33. because I've made the most amazing friends here. Friendships I know will last a lifetime. Come see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Fordham Demons. Ten seconds. Ready for the second half of action. Northwestern State leading by five. Demons will go with C.J. Jones, Nico Hugos, Judy A. Bile, Jovan Zellenbaba, and Trenton Masner. Wildcats will respond with Reggie Miller, Peyton Ricks, Joe Pleasant, Arion Simmons, as uh, Jones drives, feeds to Hugos, wide open three left wing, back iron no good, long rebound, Simmons is going to bring it forward. Simmons takes it right down the lane, that's going to be a charge, just ran over C.J. Jones, did Arion Simmons. So you've got uh, Reggie Miller, Peyton Ricks, Arion Simmons, Corian Mason, and Joe Pleasant, the five on the floor for the Wildcats, who turned it over on their first possession of the second half. Demons Hugos missing a wide open three. Nikos 0 for 3 from the field, 0 for 2 from beyond the arc. CJ Jones drives, feeds to Hugos. Hugos will drive the left side into traffic, back to Jones. Jones spins at the top, 13 to shoot. Drives with the left hand, goes to the floor. It's going to be a foul called on ACU. Foul called on Reggie Miller, his first. James Durham, Gerald Williams, Joe Wilbert, the uh, the third, your officiating crew in this one as uh, they will wipe off the floor where C.J. Jones and the other bodies were on the ground. 38 seconds in, Demons have missed a shot. ACU has turned it over. They lob it out to Chudier Bile, left corner. 
<clears throat> Bile turns to face, working against Pleasant. Step back three in the left corner is short. Rebound tip to Hugas. Hugas goes back up with it. Shot blocked from behind by Corian Mason. Back the other way. Mason has it. Back out deep. Get into the left corner to Ricks. He's the guy you got to watch out for from three. Then Zellin Baba gets a steal, tips it to himself up the left side and dunks with two hands. Jovan Zellin Baba shooting the passing lane and getting the dunk. He's got seven. That was a nifty play. Not only did he get the steal, then he tipped it to himself. Ball underneath and an easy lay in for Arion Simmons. Play, play, play. 40 to 35 with 18.35 left to go. Demons by five. They just led by seven, which is their largest lead of the ball game. C.J. Jones on the dribble. Gives to Zell and Baba left wing. Dribbles looking inside. Skips it up top to Bile. Bile's going to drive the right side. Bumped hard, and that's going to be on the floor. Chudier Bile hits the deck. Trenton Massner goes and picks him up. Foul on Joe Pleasant is his second. As Clay Gaiman will check in to replace Arion Simmons. Looked like he maybe. Kind of flexing that left elbow and that left hand. Looks like he maybe got uh, hit on the funny bone there. Ball out to Trenton Master. Master back to Hugos. Right corner to Jones. Jones will drive in against Pleasant. Pull it back out. Right wing. Jones. Jab step inside. Spacing a little bit bad for the Demons here with eight to shoot. Jones crosses over against Pleasant. Works down the left side. Steps through. Wild shot on the way. Just barely nicks the rim. But ACU comes away with it. That's not a good possession there for the Demons. Into the front court. Corian Mason. Lob inside. Step through. And a two-hand dunk for Clay Gaiman. He's got six. Makes it 40-37 uh, to 37 NSU. C.J. Jones into the front court. Mike McConaughey calls out the play. Cross screens underneath. Jovan Zellenbaba has it. And he turns it over, trying to throw it out to Master at the top. Back the other way. Master strips the ball from Corian Mason. Great, great effort. As Brian White will check in for C.J. Jones. And uh, Jairus Roberson will check in to replace Jovan Zellenbaba. Not a good pass there by Zellenbaba, who made a great play shooting the passing lanes. Tipped it to himself and then was able to go and dunk it but then turned that one over. Mason, though, couldn't convert. And we're going to have a hold underneath. Called on Chudier Bile on the inbounds. Bile picks up his third personal. With 2.29 uh, gone in the second half, Chudier Bile's got three, so he's got to be very careful. Bile right now with seven points and six rebounds, and Jamari Gregg's going to check in for him for a few minutes. So Greg in, in place of Chudier Bile. Baseline underneath, left side out of bounds. They'll get it in. Drive by Ricks to the right elbow. Shot is blocked and foul is called and Trenton Master can't believe it. Master picks up his first personal and Mike McConaughey claps and says, great job, great job, Trenton. As a Master thought it was clean coming from behind to get the, uh, the shot block, but instead Peyton Ricks will go to the line to shoot two where he misses the first. Ricks is an 86% free throw shooter. And he's now two for three from the strike. Don't see him miss very often. Second one is good. Peyton Ricks has nine. Makes it 40 to 38 in favor of NSU with 17-20 left to go. Demons running a 1-4 low set. Get it to Hugas. Hugas drives with the right hand, pulls up with the deep two, front iron no good. Rebound pulled down by ACU. Reggie Miller into the front court, works down the right side, cut off, pulls it all the way back out. Demons probably need to switch at some point as they skip it into the right corner to Ricks. Uh, excuse me, Ricks has it at the top now. He'll elevate for that three, goes out in and out, no good. Rebound to Greg, flips it ahead to Brian White. White crosses to the middle, works it, flips it down in the right corner to Roberson. Roberson looking inside. Drives with the left hand, steps back, 10-footer, good. Jairus Roberson's got eight. 42-38, the lead for the Demons with 16-35 left to go in the ball game. Ball on the right side, Ricks goes all the way through. Excuse me, Mason goes all the way through. Reverse layup is up and good for him. 42-40, the lead for the Demons with 16-23 left to go. And Larry Owens going to check in for the first time. Nikos Hugas has it left side. Hugas dribbles to the left baseline. 
Goes back to the basket, back to the basket. We're going to get, oh, that's a terrible charge call. That is a terrible, terrible charge call. That was a flop and a half as Nikos Hugas picks up his first personal. And Mike McConaughey in the ear of Joe Wilbert the third about that call. I mean, that was as big a flop as you'll ever see. Larry Owens in for the first time, did not play in the first half. 6'8", 260, the junior from Monroe, Carroll High School. Nikos Hugas comes out of the ball game. Mike McConaughey gives him a hard slap on the derriere as he walks by. Demons up 42-40 with 16.05 left to go in the ball game. On the right side, Clay Gaiman. Gaiman flips it out to Peyton Ricks, right wing. Inside it goes, left, L, uh, left baseline, Pleasant. Drives in, shot up and good. Pleasant just went right through Jamari Gregg. And we're tied up at 42 apiece. With 15.45 left to go. Jamari Gregg holding out deep. Skips it over to Trenton Master, right wing. Master's going to drive the right baseline, cut off, comes back to the left side. Free throw line jumper, front iron no good. Larry Owens puts it back up and good. Immediate dividends for Larry Owens. Offensive glass for the big space eater. And he put it right back up. He's been struggling with uh, getting good offensive rebounds, but struggling to actually put them in. That time he did exactly what he wanted to. Pleasant against Owens, drives to the left side, cut off by the big bodied Owens. Steps all the way back out to the corner. Drives with the right hand, skips it right wing. Three from Daniels is up and back iron no good, but another long rebound off a of three miss by ACU. Daniels drives left baseline, flips it all the way back out up top. Pleasant will fire the three. That one is good. Pleasant's got 10, makes it 45-44 Abilene Christian. They have outscored the Demons 12 to six here in the second half with 14.45 left to go. Brian White dribbling out. Jairus Roberson came toward him and then couldn't come get the ball. Nice job by ball pressure by Abilene. And they're gonna get a hand check foul called on Damian Daniels. And the point guard picks up his third. We've got our under four media timeout. 14.34 left to go. Northwestern State down 45-44. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. Four left to go in the ball game, Northwestern State. Trailing 45-44, Demons have been outscored 12 to six here to open up this second half. Demons had a five point lead at halftime. Demons are three of nine from the field in the second half for 33%. Abilene is five of seven from the field for 71%. Wildcats getting the ball inside and uh, able to get some easy buckets. Demons will inbound. From the right sideline, they get it into Brian White. 14 and a half left to go, 17 to shoot. Demons on offense. Brian White works down the right side, takes it all the way. Shot up off glass and good. Brian White's got four. Back the other way comes Damian Daniels, still in with three fouls is the point guard. Picks up his dribble out deep, gives to Ricks. Back to Daniels. And that's going to be an illegal screen call on Corian Mason, who shoulder blocked Jairus Roberson as he set a little flare screen at the top of the key for Ricks to go off of. Mason, if he just stayed put, he was fine, but he also threw an extra little uh, little elbow shoulder in there. 
to be called for the Reggie, illegal screen. 14.07 left to go. Demons lead by one. Brian White flips it in the corner. Zell and Baba pump fake. Step back three from the right wing is short. Rebound pulled down by ACU. Back the other way come the Wildcats. Daniels on the left wing to Ricks. Two three-point shooters uh, guarding each other on the right side. Roberson and Ricks. Ricks drives the right side, steps through, flips it to Pleasant. Pleasant inside, off glass and no good. Pleasant gets the rebound off the tip, goes back up with it. He's fouled, and he gets the bucket. Now, a lot of offensive rebounds for this ACU team as Jamari Gregg picks up his second personal. Joe Pleasant now has 12. 47-46, Abilene Christian. Zellen Bobble will check out, and John Norvell will come in for the first time. So both demons who did not play in the first half have played here in the second half. Norvell, 6'4", 190, the junior from Slidell, Louisiana, Salmon High School, and LSUA. Pleasant's free throw is good. He's got 13 points. So 48-46, the lead for Abilene. Wildcats shooting 39% from the field. Demons shooting 40, uh, 45%. Brian White works against Reggie Miller. Flips it underneath. Jamari Gregg back to White at the top. Works to the left side. Little push off. Left elbow jumper. Back iron no good. It's usually Brian White's honey spot. Couldn't get that one to fall. Mason back the other way. No numbers. Dribbles on the left wing. Works off a screen to the left corner. Gives it back to Pleasant. Pleasant's going to drive. Flip it back up top. Step back three on the way is back iron no good. Brian White clears the rebound off the miss by Clay Gaiman. White into the front court. Picked up his dribble. Lobs it out. Larry Owens was able to collect that one and not get a turnover. Feeds the White now turns it over, and then Larry Owens was able to knock it away on a fast break opportunity. So little scatter shot here as the teams trade turnovers back and forth. That is uh, the Demons down now 48-46 with 12-46 left to go. Keep in mind, Chudy A. Bile has not, had, has not been able to play the last few minutes. Larry Owens checks out. Godor Queth comes in. Mike McConaughey telling Larry Owens good hustle. Owens did have an offensive rebound and a putback. He's been great getting offensive rebounds, just hasn't been able to get the putbacks to fall in the last couple of games. Ball at the top for Ricks, left side. Great job closing in by Norvell. Mason will drive the left side. Shot up off glass is no good. Norvell clears the rebound. And they're going to say stay here. And they're going to call John Norvell for a push off on the rebound. Mike McConaughey not pleased with that call. Demon's a little confused. Brian White wasn't sure they were on defense. Ricks on the left wing. Back up top, Pleasant. Jab steps. Now plays it back. We're going to get a three-second violation on Clay Gaiman to turn it back over. Mike McConaughey talking to Gerald Williams and not pleased about the uh, couple of calls that they've gotten. Demons, 48-46, the lead for ACU with 12-19 left to go in the ball game. Brian White drives the right side, goes behind the back, pulls it back out to the right wing, 16 to shoot. Looking for the high screen and roll, drives the left side now, steps back at the left elbow, high arcing and good. That's Brian White's shot. Ties us back up at 48. White has six, as does C.J. Jones, so the point guard's getting some good point production. On the left wing, Ricks, he'll elevate for three. Good, man, didn't need much space there, able to just fire it home. 51-48, Ricks has 12. With 11.44 left to go, Demons down three. White at the top, crosses over, works to the right side. Tried to go across the lane to Jamari Gregg. It's knocked away by Joe Pleasant. And out of bounds, Demons will have the basketball with 19 to shoot when we return. 11.38 left to go. Northwestern State down by three with the basketball when we return on the Demons Sports Network. Everyone who wears the uniform of the Louisiana State Police has a reason why. Outside of the uniform, I am a mother. I am a college graduate. I am a soldier. Every trooper who wears the badge has a why. What's yours?
I love NSU because the students and staff here are always so friendly to me, especially when times get tough. Come see for yourself why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Forkham Demons. Left to go in the second half. Northwestern State trailing by three, 51 48. Uh, neither team is led by more than seven. Abilene has had a four point lead on a couple of occasions in the first half. Demons had a seven point lead at uh, one point in the second half. Actually, hit the first basket of the second half. Demons, though, are shooting just five of 13 from the field in the second half for 38%. Abilene shooting seven of 12 in the second half for 58%. Demons have been outscored 18 to 10 here in the second half, but the Demons will have the basketball from the left baseline with 11.38 left to go. A couple of screens, they get it into Jamari Gregg out deep on the left wing. Gregg picks up his dribble and hands off to C.J. Jones. 12 to shoot, 11 and a half left to go. Demons down three. Jones to the left wing, picks up his dribble, seven to shoot. Gives to Godor Queth. Queth with four is gonna have to take that three and he buries it, Godor Queth. Ties us back up at 51 apiece for Godor Queth. That is just his third made three of the year. He's on defense now in the post, right side, step through, fade away. That one's back iron and in for Clay Gaiman. He's got eight, makes it 53-51 ACU. 11 minutes left to go in the ball game. C.J. Jones goes behind the back, works around to the right wing, gives to Jamari Gregg. Deep two for him is no good, but he's fouled. And if that's pleasant, that's his third, and it is, and it is. And that'll be two shots for Jamari Gregg. With 10.55 left to go, 53-51. Demon shooting 46% from the field in this one, while ACU is shooting now 40%. That uh, started eight of 13 in the second half, and that has just gotten them to 40% shooting. Jamari Gregg's first free throw rolls out, no good. Been a bit of a struggle for Jamari at the free throw line. He is a 50% free throw shooter. Demons have a lot of guys who shoot free throws pretty well. So the big junior transfer from El Paso misses both. And no change in the score, 53-51 Wildcats with 10.50 left to go in the game. Into the front court, Reggie Miller. Is it to the high post Gaiman, back cut and throws it, uh, throws it away. It was in too far in front of Peyton Ricks on the back cut to the left baseline. And so the ball turned over by ACU. That is now 11 turnovers on both teams. ACU only averages 14 turnovers a game on their offensive end. Jairus Roberson deep on the right side. Dribbles towards the right baseline, steps back into the corner. Now dribbles back to the baseline, steps back. Deep two is back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hayden Howell. Howell gives it off to Reggie Miller. Miller troubled dribbling as he brings it into the front court. Lobs inside. Gaiman stripped from behind by Norvell, who can't quite keep it from going out of bounds. Boy, that was a, I'll tell you one thing about John Norvell. He has got incredibly fast hands. When he gets anywhere near the ball, he is uh, always a chance to, uh, for him to get it. He goes and he does it again on the help side defense. And again, it goes out of bounds off of Norvell with 17 to shoot. They're actually going to put 20 back on the clock as uh, they say Norvell kicked it out of bounds. So 20 on the play clock, 10-11 left to go. Demons down two, 53-51 on defense. So they're going to say uh, baseline inbounds from the right side of the goal. Reggie Miller gives it out. That's Corian Mason. Mason will dribble it back out. High screen and roll with Howell. Mason slips, now works with the left hand, feeds it left baseline. Jumper from Gaiman is an air ball. Rebound to Jamari Gregg. CJ Jones into the front court. Works to the right side, top of the key. Back to the left side for Jones. Feeds it to Jamari Gregg. Gregg dribbles with the right hand. Leads it back into the corner. Roberson fires a three. It's an air ball long. Rebound into the corner picked up by Corian Mason. Roberson got a little quick, I think. Ball out deep. Ricks on the left side. Lobs it down on the baseline. Turn around. Fade away on the way is short. Rebound tipped and controlled by Greg. Great job by Norvell working inside. 9.25 left. Demon still down two. Jones on the right wing off the miss by Gaiman. 
Gregg works to the top. Dribbles all the way to the top. Now works to the crossover. Back to Jamari Gregg. Gregg goes behind the back. Has it poked away. Gets it back. Works with the left hand. Feeds it in the left corner. Norvell. Norvell step back three. Left wing is good. John Norvell's first point to the ball game. Give the Demons back the lead. 54-53. They lob it inside. And that's going to be a missed layup. Tip out. Rebound to the Demons. Jairus Roberson looking to run. Flips it ahead. Norvell, right wing, back to Jones. Top of the key. Godor Queth, and Queth traveled with it. Tried to take it up the left side, but instead was called for steps. Demons turned it over for the 12th time, but just four turnovers in the second half for Northwestern State. They're having one of their best turnover games against one of the top turnover-forcing teams in the nation. Abilene Christian, number two in the country, forcing nearly 21 turnovers a game. The Demons have 12. 54-53, Demons with the lead. Miller gives to Mason. Mason drives left side. Shot up is uh, no good. Tip up is no good. Follow is good by Colton Cole, the seven-footer. 55-54, ACU. Demons in with C.J. Jones, Nico Sugas, Jovan Zelenbaba, Chudier Bile, and John Norvell. Jones works off a screen from Bile. Gives to Hugas right wing. Hugas drives the right side, takes it into traffic. He's fouled, and Hugas will shoot two. Foul called on the seven-footer, Colton Cole. That is his first. So Nico Hugas will go to the line. Teams have uh, traded the lead back and forth here in the last several possessions. Been a good one here, 8-16 left to go. Hugas' first free throw is no good. He is struggling from the free throw line, just one for five tonight. That is very unusual for him. Hugas is a 76% free throw shooter. But he's just one for five. Second one is good. Hugas, just two points in this ball game. So we're tied at 55 with 8.13 left to go. Looks like a great finish upcoming here at Prather Coliseum. Reggie Miller hands to. Corian Mason, then to the big fella, Arion Simmons. Back to Reggie Miller, the point guard left wing. Lobs it to the post inside. Seven-footer turns with the right hand, no good. Rebound taken away by Chudie Bile. Bile will race into the front court with it left side. Steps to the, free, the uh, three-point line, and he's fouled. And that's going to be three free throws for Chudie Bile. Foul called on Peyton Ricks as he tried to close out on Bile. Ricks will pick up his first personal. And Chudie Bile will shoot three free throws when we return. 7.49 left to go. Game tied at 55. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. I love NSU because of the countless opportunities this campus has to offer, from allowing me to be a member of the football team to being a member of the Freshman Connection team. The opportunities on this campus are second to none. Come see why I absolutely love this place, and as always, Forkham Demons. Left to go in this one, Northwestern State and Abilene Christian tied at 55. Judy A. Bile will go to the line to shoot three when we get back to action. No demon yet in double digits. Judy can get there if he makes all three of his free throws. He does lead all players with seven rebounds. But uh, Jairus Roberson, eight points. Uh, Jovan Zellenbaba, seven. Judy A. Bile, seven. Two Demon point guards, C.J. Jones and Brian White, have six points apiece. So I'd like to see that. You want double digits out of your point guard position if you can get it. So uh, Chudier Bile makes the first free throw. Eight for him. That's his first point of the second half. Reminder, Lady Demons and Demons on the road Saturday at Houston Baptist. Two o'clock for the Lady Demons, seven o'clock for the Demons. Again, I don't know why that is, but uh, two o'clock, seven o'clock. Lady Demons on 92.3. 
Uh, Demons right here on 95.9. Chudier Bile makes all three of those free throws, and he becomes the first Demon in double digits. And as you leading 58-55, C.J. Jones, Chudier Bile, Jovan Zellenbaba, Nico Sugas, John Norvell. Arion Simmons left wide open for three, and he cans it. Tied at 58 as Simmons knocks down the triple. And ACU, which only hit three of 15 from three in the first half, is three of five here in the second half. Judy A. Bile with a jab step, drives the right side into traffic, skips it left corner, Norvell for three short. Long rebound, Mason comes down with it. Mason will drive into the front court, go up with the left hand, no good. Hugas clears the rebound. Nico Hugas will bring it into the front court, up the left hand side. Reggie Miller tries to uh, give him some hassle as Hugas is going to drive all the way in. Back cut to Zell and Baba. It's knocked away, and it's gonna, they're going to be off of NSU. So the Demons turn it over for the 13th time as Trenton Massner will check in, replacing John Norvell. We're tied at 58. Demons shooting 44% from the field. ACU 37%. But they are back up to 12 more attempts than the Demons. Demons had cut that down to about five or six at one point, but now back up to 12 more attempts than the Demons have. High screen and roll. Mason drives the left side, spins with it, lobs it back out. Ricks. Ricks is going to drive, and he's fouled. Foul on the floor by Jovan Zellenbaba. Ricks drove in, and uh, he and Chudier Bile collided as Bile was going to look to block the shot. And uh, Ricks and Bile collided. Bile caught him and held him up. And they slapped hands. Corian Mason inbounds to Reggie Miller nearly at half court. 18 to shoot, 640 left. We're tied at 58. Miller gets a great screen, flips it back up top. Another three on the way. That one is good again from Arion Simmons. The freshman from Little Rock now with 10 and gives ACU the lead, 61-58. Nikos Hugas left wing against the seven-footer, drives the left baseline, pulls up from 10. That one rattles and falls for Nikos Hugas. His first field goal of the ball game. That's the lead to 61-60 with 6.13 left to go. Miller double screen, one to either side. Is it back up top? A step back three this time. That one missed badly by Arion Simmons. Rebound pulled down by C.J. Jones. Jones pushes into the front court, steps back. Top of the key, Hugas. Hugas drives in, back to Jones. Jones drives, picks up his dribble, lobs it back out to Hugas. He'll take that three from the top, and it's good! Nikos Hugas! Back-to-back -back buckets, and the Demons lead by two, 63-61. Hugas with his first made three right after his first made field goal. They get it inside to Cole. Cole goes up, misses it. Rebound Zellin Baba underneath. Demons by two with 5.27 left to go and the basketball. Hugas, D3 from the left wing all the way down and comes out and Chudier Bile goes and gets the rebound. He'll spin back inside and he's fouled. Great effort by Chudier Bile inside after Nikos Hugas threw up the heat check from about four feet outside the arc. Hugas chunked the three. It went all the way down and came out. And Chudier Bile cleared the rebound and then got fouled as he turned and went back up with it. So Bile will shoot two with 5.17 remaining. First one is rattling and going. Front iron hit the back iron a couple of times and went through for Chudier Bile, who has 11. 64-61. Demons have scored six in a row. The first five were all, Chute, uh, were all Nikos Hugas. Got his first two-point shot, a little seven-footer on the left baseline, and then knocked down a three from the top as uh, Hugas is now two for eight from the field. Bile misses the second free throw. Bile with 11 points and eight rebounds in this ball game, looking for his sixth double-double. 5.08 left, Demons by three. Ricks has it on the right side, guarded by Zellin Baba. Up top, Joe Pleasant. Pleasant gives it left wing. Damian Daniels lobbed down on the block. Gaiman back to the basket, back out to the left corner. Three on the way is short. Long rebound, Chudier Bile comes away with it. Bile into the front court, works to the left wing. He's got the point guard, Damian Daniels, on him. Should be a size advantage. Bile goes back to the basket, loses it. Ball is stripped, and it's turned over. Here comes Peyton Ricks. Ricks takes it down the right side, stripped away by C.J. Jones. Nice job by Jones to knock that ball away with 4.38 remaining, and Brian White is going to check back in to replace C.J. Jones. 
Mike McConaughey telling C.J. Jones in that scenario, go ahead and go get the ball from Chudie Bile and let him get in the post to get that mismatch. Gaiman in the left corner, back left wing, Joe Pleasant, hands off. Damian Daniels back to Ricks. Ricks fires a three, front iron no good. Rebound crashing underneath, Hugas comes away with it. Hugas is gonna bring it into the front court himself, works it to the top of the key, works with the left hand. Little half push off, throws it back out to Chudier Bile. Bile dribbling against Gaiman, works to the right side, takes it all the way in, off glass, no good. Boy, did everything but go in for Chudier Bile. Great look, back the other way. Daniels, right wing, gives to Ricks. Ricks works to the left wing, Demon switch, back up top to Gaiman. Gaiman flips it right wing, Mason, Demon still by three here. Ball inside, shot is up and no good, but the foul is called. And Chudier Bile picks up his fourth as Pleasant took it inside, pump fake, got Bile in the air. And then was able to uh, pick up the personal, but could, n could not make the bucket. 3.54 left to go in this one. Northwestern State leading by three, 64-61. We'll take a timeout, come back with more after this on the Demon Sports Network. The Louisiana Scholars College. I like to say that it's the small liberal arts experience without the small liberal arts price tag. The five-year bachelor's and master's degree program allows students to earn a master's degree in only one more year of study. Typically, it would take two more years. What's beneficial for me about this program is the fact that it's tailor-made to what I want to do with my career. I love NSU because it's given me a group of positive peers who always push for me to be a better leader. Come see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Gorkum Demons. Fifty-four left to decide this one. Northwestern State trying to break a three-game losing streak here at home and trying to break a five-game losing streak against Abilene Christian. The uh, Demons and Wildcats have only played six times since the Wildcats got back into the Southland Conference. And uh, in that time, the Demons won the first matchup of that one and then have lost the last five in a row against Abilene, so they are one and five against the Wildcats. Demons trying to find a way to uh, get that second win as Pleasant misses the first free throw. 64-61, Demons with the lead with 3.54 left to go in this one. Joe Pleasant, 13 points for him, and he makes one of two free throws. He's got 14. 64-62. With 3.49 left to go, Brian White walks it up into the front court. Chudier Bile is out with his four fouls. White dribbling on the left wing, 17 to shoot. Gives it to Nikos Hugas at the top. He'll take that deep two, back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by ACU. Well, Hugas had made a couple of shots in a row, but may have settled a bit for that one. Long two at the top of the key. Damian Daniels on the right wing, top of the key. Corian Mason back to the right corner. Clay Gaiman. Free throw line, Daniels, step back two for him. His front iron, no good. Rebound tapped out long, and a fresh 20-second clock here. They lob it down to Pleasant on the right baseline. Giving him space. Go back, go back to the basket against Jamari Gregg. Goes up off glass and good. Great patience by Joe Pleasant. To tie us back up at 64 apiece. 254 left to go. Tied at 64. Demons with the ball, left elbow, left wing, Brian White, top of the key, Jovan Zellenbaba. Trenton Master on the right wing, 14 to shoot. Master crosses over, dribbles, flips it left side, Jamari Gregg, back to Zellenbaba with nine. Zellenbaba off the screen, draws a double. Hugas, wide open, three, front iron, no good. Hugas gets the rebound, and they flip it back out to Brian White to reset. 17 to shoot, 225 left to go. Demons and Wildcats tied at 64. 10 to shoot. Now nine, Brian White calls off Hugas, seven to shoot, screen and roll. White has a kick off of the foot of ACU with four to shoot. It will stay at Demon basketball, but they only have four to shoot. 
So Trenton Massner will inbound from just in front of the Demon bench. They're going to have to get a, get a shot off pretty quick here. Game tied at 64. Massner looking. Lobs it down low and just turns it over. Well, if you're going to turn it over, that's not the worst place to do it, but Massner had no one uh, open to get the ball to. So the Demons turned it over for the 15th time. Damian Daniels dribbling out deep, left wing to Mason. Top of the key, Joe Pleasant. Pleasant to Peyton Ricks, guarded closely by Zell and Baba. Out to Mason, 11 to shoot, left wing, Joe Pleasant. Pleasant works with the crossover, works with the right hand, spins back baseline, stripped by Greg. Pleasant gets it back, turns and fires, back iron no good. Greg clears the rebound. Great defensive possession for Jamari Greg. A minute 39 remaining, and Mike McConaughey wants to call a timeout and get some offense set up here. Demons have gone stagnant in the uh, in the last couple of minutes. This will be the first time out of the second half, so it'll be a full break. We'll take it. 139 left, tied at 64. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. The countdown to Katie has begun. The Southland Conference Basketball Tournament at the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. Experience it live as Southland Strong teams compete for a tournament title and a chance to go to the dance. It's affordable family fun and great college hoops action. Tickets for the Southland Conference Basketball Tournament are on sale through school ticket offices and Ticketmaster.com. I love Northwestern because everyone's always willing to lend a helping hand. Here I have the opportunity to explore my passions to meet new people every single day. So come and see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Forkham Demon. Ten seconds. One thirty-nine left to go. We're tied at 64. Neither team able to do anything in their last couple of possessions. Demons especially have gone stagnant here. They have 23 on the shot clock. They're going to run most of this down, I would guess. Brian wide out deep. They also got Chudier Bile back in. He's working right side, isolated. Jab step, deep two for Bile, short. Offensive rebound, Hugosh just lobs it out deep to Brian White. Ball didn't hit the rim. White's going to hustle up the left side, pulls the 10-footer, good! Brian White with eight. The Demons lead 66-64 with a minute 10 left to go. Need a stop. High screen and roll. Daniels gives it to Gaiman, lobs it down underneath. Right baseline, up and under with it. Mason is fouled. And he will shoot two. Foul called on Trenton Masner. Masner will pick up his second. So Corian Mason, the junior transfer from Ranger Junior College, out in sort of Midwest Texas, will shoot two here. The left-hander trying to tie us back up with a minute two left to go. First one is good. Corian Mason, four points in the ball game for him. Mason on the season is a 72% free throw shooter. Again, these are two of the best free throw shooting teams in the league. Fourth and fifth. Abilene fourth, Demons fifth. Mason misses the second one. Rebound tipped out long, and it's out of bounds off of Trenton Massner, who was fighting hard for it. And uh, because it's under a minute, they can look at it. And James Durham, the lead official, is going to uh, take a look at the replay. Mike McConaughey saying he wanted a foul, thought that there was uh, some hand fighting and pushing and shoving in there. It sure looked like it was off Massner uh, as he and Bile and Gaiman were all fighting for it. And the ball was uh, kicked out of bounds right towards the, or knocked out of bounds right towards the ACU bench. Massner was, uh, was diving after it. He and Bile and Gaiman all had their hands on it. So they are uh, looking at it to see whose ball it is. With 59.3 seconds left, it's 66-65 NSU with the lead. After Corian Mason missed his second free throw, the ball went caroming long. Would be the 16th offensive rebound of the game for Abilene Christian, who is out rebounding the Demons by three, 41-38. But they have had a lot a lot of long caroms on missed shots. 
ACU 7 of 25 from beyond the arc. And because of that, you've seen 18 missed threes. That means there's a lot of long rebounds, and a lot of those have gone to ACU. That's why they have now 16 offensive rebounds, unless this is overturned, as you have uh, Joe Wilbert III and James Durham looking things over, and it will be ACU basketball. So Wildcats will keep possession with 59 seconds left. It'll be a 20-second shot clock as John Norvell will check in for defensive purposes along with Brian White, Nico Sugas, Chudier Bile, Yovan Zell and Baba. Mike McConaughey screaming out back screen. Lobbing it in from the uh, left bench area, basically. They hand off to Daniels, 18 to shoot. Daniels works all the way around to the right wing. He's it up top to Ricks, left wing. Corian Mason, Mason on the dribble. Trying to go inside, does to Pleasant. Pleasant against Bile. Bile has to be careful. He's got four fouls. Pleasant goes back to the basket, spins the left baseline. Shot blocked by Bile, who comes away with the rebound. Bile into the front court with it. Demons lead by one. Chudier gets it back out to the point guard, Brian White. One point lead for the Demons. Nine second differential between shot clock and game clock. After Chudier Bile picked up the blocked shot. For Bile, that is his third block of the ball game. Ten to shoot. Brian White with it in his hands. Bucket would be big here for the Demons. White drives the right side, picks up his dribble, flips. Hugas, three from the top. Yes! Nikos Hugas! Demons lead by four with 11.2 seconds left to go. Hugas knocks it home. Mike McConaughey takes the timeout with 11.2 seconds left to go. Nikos Hugas knocks down the deep triple. Hugas, two of six from beyond the arc now. He's got 10 and eight. Judy A. Bile, by the way, with the block shot and rebound, now has his sixth double-double of the year. He had five coming in. Nikos Hugas had four coming in. Hugas actually riding a string of three consecutive double-doubles. So the Demons need a good defensive possession here, up four with 11.2 seconds left. Trying to break a five-game losing streak to Abilene Christian and a three-game losing streak here at home. Lost to Stephen F. Austin by seven, Southeastern Louisiana by three in overtime, and Central Arkansas by eight. Demons are gonna pressure full court here. Ricks is gonna get it, bring it up the right-hand side, and that's gonna be a foul called back near half court. As Jovan Zellenbaba ran over Clay Gaiman, who was setting a screen. So Zellenbaba picks up his third. And so Gaiman will shoot one and one here with 8.2 seconds left in a four-point ball game. Well, the last thing you needed to have happen there was a foul called in that situation. Mike McConaughey and Jeff Moore chatting over strategy after Mike McConaughey told uh, head coach James Durham, let the, uh, let the players decide the game. So one and one free throws for game, and they gave him the ball and then gave it back. They were double checking that it is one and one. It is one and one free throws. Chudy A. Bile wanted to make sure that it was one and one. So if on a miss, Demons need a rebound. Leading by four with 8.2 seconds left to go. Clay Gaiman, the sophomore from Nevada, Missouri. Front end of the one and one is good. He's got nine, cuts the lead to three at 69-66. 8.2 seconds left. Demons need to be good rebounders in case Gaiman misses this one. Second free throw. That one is also good, and Joe Golding's going to call a timeout, the head coach for ACU. So the lead has been cut back down to two with 8.2 seconds left to go. Again, don't forget, Northwestern State on the road, Lady Demons and Demons at Houston Baptist. Meanwhile, you've got uh, baseball and softball starting up. Softball starts this coming weekend. They'll be at Houston for a tournament there. 
Their action gets underway with a doubleheader beginning at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Then uh, baseball season starts next Friday, the 14th, Valentine's Day. And we will have the call of that game against Wichita State right here on the Demon Sports Network, 95.9 Kicks Country. Myself and Jason Pugh will have the call for you at uh, Brown Stroud Field in the opener for Northwestern State. They will take on Wichita State. So 8.2 seconds remaining. Demons lead by two. They will be inbounding from under their own basket. Obviously need to get the ball in first and foremost. That's your primary responsibility here. Get the ball in. As Demons run, they get it to Chudie Bile. Bile in the backcourt is fouled with 6.4 seconds remaining. Bile makes two. It's back to a two-possession ball game. Trey Lennox picks up his first personal. Chudie Bile has a double-double right now, 11 points and 10 rebounds. This will be two shots for Chudie as well. Obviously, you need to at least make one. But if you make two, you push it back to a two-possession ball game, which is where you'd like to be. Demons trying to steal a big win here over the fourth place team in the league, Abilene Christian. No Demons in the lane as Chudier Bile makes the first free throw. He's got 12, so it's a three-point game no matter what happens with this one. Obviously, if you get this one to fall, you make it very tough for Abilene Christian to win it as it would then be a four-point game or a two-possession ball game. Demons are going to pressure full court after this shot. Bile's second free throw is good. Big, big free throws for Chudy A. Bile. Four-point lead for the Demons with six seconds left to go. Peyton Ricks going to bring it into the front court. You just don't want to foul a three-point shooter. Ricks makes it with two seconds left. Makes the three to cut it. Was it a three or a two? They're going to go check to double. They're going to go double check to see. It looked like he, he was pretty close in when he shot that, but they're going to double check to see whether this was a two or a three with two seconds left to go. As uh, the officials on this 30-second timeout, actually it's a full timeout, but we're going to keep it here late in the ball game as they uh, take a look at where Peyton Ricks's feet were. So it will be a two-point basket for Peyton Ricks to make it 71-69. And so you have the same scenario at play here. Same scenario at play. Demons need to get the ball in. Whoever has the ball needs to hold on to it with uh, two seconds left to go. The, uh, I think the clock went to point two there, but it's actually 2.1. So they put one-tenth of a second back on the clock. They also tell us that it was a two, not a three, for Peyton Ricks. So Ricks now with 14. But the Demons trying to find a way to uh, take down the number four team in the league. And, Pick up a much-needed win on their way to Houston Baptist on Saturday. And then the Demons are back at home for three in a row after that. Incarnate Word, McNeese, and Nichols. Tough matchups back at home after that. Demons all spread out. Four all the way up to half court. As Nikos Hugas can run the baseline. Gets it into Chudier Bile, and Bile is fouled. With 1.4 seconds left, Gerald Williams Calls the foul and looks over at the uh, Abilene bench, which all jumped up looking for a traveling violation as Bile hit the ground. Foul was called on Lennox. That's his second. So Bile once again goes to the line to shoot two. And uh, Joe Golding wants him to check the clock on this. Basically, this is just a way to freeze Chudy A. Bile more than anything. So they're going to uh, double check that the clock is correct as it shows 1.4 seconds. And uh, Gerald Williams and Joe Wilbert will come over and check that out. Uh, again, though, home baseball next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday against Wichita State. We'll have the first game, Friday night's broadcast on the air for you right here on 95.9 Kicks Country. Uh, clock apparently looks good. 
Uh, they're going to actually put three tenths back on, so 1.7. The 1.7 on the clock, they put three tenths back on. So Chudier Bile will shoot two free throws. If he makes both, the game's over. If he makes one, ACU has a chance with a, a desperation three with less than two seconds remaining. Bile, 13 points. He's got a double-double in this one, 13 and 10. He also has one assist, one steal, and three blocks. So Chudier Bile goes to the line for two. First one is good. Bile pushed it back to a three-point advantage. One more. And this is ball game with 1.7 seconds remaining. Joe Pleasant and Clay Gaiman both check in. Demons lead 72-69. They've actually scored eight more points than Abilene normally gives up. The best scoring defense in the Southland Conference. Bile makes them both. Joe Golding already walking down to half court to congratulate Mike McConaughey. Ricks fires a three from half court, and it's no good. And Northwestern State has upset Abilene Christian in this one. Demons getting a much-needed home win after dropping three in a row at home and losing five in a row to this Abilene Christian squad. The Demons get a big home win, 73-69.